The Section tool not only allows you to create sectional drawings, but it allows you to work inside enclosed models. This house has an interior, and I'll section it so that we can work inside. Go ahead and open the Rose Hill sample file so you can follow along. Press Option S to access the Section tool. There's a green gizmo attached to the cursor, and it orients itself automatically to be parallel to the surface that you're hovering over. You could click on a wall to create a traditional sectional view, or click on a horizontal surface such as the porch to create a planimetric section. I'll click on the porch, and then select the sectional plane itself, turning it blue. Press M to use the Move tool, and move the section plane up. It dynamically cuts through the geometry. Right-click and choose Align View to look down on this plane. Now we have a plan in perspective. Pressing J toggles Parallel Projection Mode, so now we have a traditional plan. The color and thickness of the section cut lines are controlled in the Styles window. Edit the current style and click on this last button to access the modeling settings. The section cut width is set here. I'll make that just one to make it the minimum thickness. The section cut color is controlled here. You can toggle the display of the actual section plane by clicking here, and you can turn off the section by clicking here. I'll update the style and close this window. You can also toggle the display of the section plane using the keyboard shortcut Control S. This allows me to access this plane and move it around. Press J to switch into perspective and then create a new section plane. Press Option S and click on this exterior wall. There can only be one active section plane at a time, so when I created the new section it turned off the old one and it grayed it out. I'll select this active plane and move it in towards the center line of the roof. Let me just zoom in here. And I'd like to align my view to that so I can get a real section view. I'll choose Align View, zoom in, and right now what you see is a perspective section. It's a little bit fussy because we see the actual section plane, so press Ctrl S to hide it. Press J and you have a traditional section. Let's just go back. J, rotate, Control S. You can activate a different sectional plane by right-clicking on it and choosing Active Cut. Another interesting option is to right-click on a section plane and say Create Group from Slice. This creates a separate object that has all of the edges that are cut through along the sectional plane itself. I'm going to uncheck Active Cut to turn off the section entirely, and then I'd like to move that object over that I just created. I'll go into X-Ray View and see if I can grab it. I'll move it over, and this is actually a plan drawing in two dimensions. Notice that when I did that, the section itself expanded to encompass all of the geometry that it's cutting through. Let me just delete that for now. We have a separate plan drawing that we could work with. So in this way, you can pull plans and sections out of a 3D model. There are a couple of Ruby scripts that extend the power of the section tool. Let's load them. As usual, I've turned them into extensions. There's one called Section Cut Face by TIG, and there's another called Zorro by Dale Martins, or Watt, as he's known in the forums one, and it graded out. With those two scripts loaded, we'll have two additional items in the right-click menu. Let me go ahead and turn this back on. I'll say Active Cut, and then I'll right-click and choose Slice Model at Section. This addition was made by the Zorro script. This actually cuts the model so that we no longer have the geometry that was on this side of the house. Just to show you that, I can move the section plane over, and the house does not come back. Undo. The other script tries to fill in some of the geometry here at the actual section line. Let me just right-click here on the section tool itself, and choose Add Section Cut Face. 
Here we have colors we can choose from for the face and edge of this new geometry that will be added. This is the thickness of the profile lines, and this is the layer that it's suggesting that we put it on. It's a unique number, and you can either do that or place it on layer 0. I'll say OK, and it created some geometry here that represents that cut plane. The Zorro script comes with a bonus feature which allows you to cut directly through objects by drawing a line across them. Let me just demonstrate that. I'll delete the section line itself which is no longer needed. I'll draw a box over here just to demonstrate this feature. And then I'll use the Zorro tool right here at the bottom of the tools menu. I'll just draw a line across this box at some arbitrary angle and it automatically slices through the whole thing, creating internal edges. Quite a powerful tool, in fact. You can cut through nested groups and components by holding down the Control key on the PC or the Option key on the Mac.